Welcome to Learn Law Better, where today you are going to learn to use the Pomodoro Technique. This time management technique leads to better focus, more mental creativity, less mental exhaustion, a boost in motivation, and improvement in your study process. Hi, this is Bo Bias, and today I want to talk to you about the Pomodoro Technique which was developed by Francesco Carrillo in the 1980s. Let me quote from his book, The Pomodoro. Every day I went to school, attended classes, studied, and went back home feeling that I really didn't know what I'd been doing, that I'd been wasting my time. It was clear to me that the high number of distractions and interruptions and the low level of concentration and motivation were at the root of the confusion I was feeling. So I made a bet with myself, as helpful as it was humiliating. Can you study, really study for 10 minutes? Unquote. Does that sound familiar? Do you have problems keeping focus? Even if you are reading, do you ever find that you've been reading, but you stop thinking about the reading several pages earlier? So here's what Francesco did. He went to his kitchen, grabbed his tomato-shaped timer. By the way, the Italian word for tomato is Pomodoro, he then forced himself to study in concentrated bursts with small breaks in between each study segment. Here is his recommended approach. First, decide what task you're going to work on. Second, set a timer for 25 minutes. Third, start the timer and continue working on your task until the timer goes off. Fourth, stop when the timer rings Place an X on a piece of paper and take a five minute break. Fifth, after the break, go back to the second step and do another Pomodoro. A Pomodoro is each uninterrupted 25 minute session. So if something breaks the 25 minute session, you don't mark that down as a completed Pomodoro. Your good intentions don't matter. Finally, when you have four X's on the piece of paper, take a longer break, 15 to 30 minutes. Now, some of you are already studying for longer periods of time, but you may find that this method helps you with mental exhaustion and with knowledge retention. Our brains need breaks to process what we've just learned. So you may learn more by taking mini breaks rather than working for long periods of time and then taking longer breaks. In other words, this technique may allow you to study more efficiently. With regards to the timer, Francesco recommends a manual kitchen timer, a piece of paper, and a pen or pencil. Now, he believes that taking the timer and winding it creates a psychological decision on your part to complete the task. From a behavioral perspective, you now associate the setting of the timer and working till the timer goes off, which strengthens your commitment to completing the task. The key is to not give up right away. You should notice a difference within a few days and mastery of the Pomodoro Technique anywhere from a week to three weeks. As I was preparing this episode, I decided to search for Pomodoro apps. Sure enough, there are several. So I downloaded a free one called Focus Keeper Free. I'm not endorsing it, that's just one I found. It makes a ticking sound just like a manual kitchen timer. It has a little digital countdown and an analog rotating scale that looks like a kitchen timer. At first, I thought the little ticking sound, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, was disturbing. But the sound actually ended up being rather soothing over time. Ironically, I usually have very long periods of time without interruptions. But during my first 25 minute segment, I get a phone call, then my wife came in to talk to me. This means I couldn't count that first segment as a Pomodoro. The app also has a five minute timer that comes on for break time. As with any time management technique, this may or may not work for you. Some people swear by it and others despise the technique. All I can suggest is that you give it a whirl and see if it works for you. If you've got a kitchen timer, start with that. But if not, try the little free app and see if that works for you. I'm gonna try it as well and I will report in the comments below how it worked for me. 
I'll also post a link in the description to a free copy of the Pomodoro Technique book so that you can delve deeper if you want to explore further. If you like this episode, please hit the like button below. Also, let me know in the comment section how my videos are helping you and tell me what topics you want me to cover in a future episode. We have many other episodes, so feel free to explore. Also, at learnlawbetter.com, you will find more free resources to help you succeed, including our newsletter, blog posts, and exam bank. Thank you for watching.